Kristen Oaks White. And I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. Well, another Louisiana animal is now listed as a threatened species under the Endangered Species Act. That animal is this little guy right here, the Louisiana Pine Snake. After working with farmers, ranchers, and landowners to successfully restore Louisiana black bear habitat and to get the numbers up to have it removed from the endangered species list, the Natural Resources Conservation Service is hoping for a similar outcome for this little guy, the Louisiana pine snake. Does seeing a snake like this make you feel threatened? The reality is it's the Louisiana pine snake that is threatened, officially listed that way in April on the endangered species list. That's why these young workers with the Natural Resources Conservation Service are at the Kasachi National Forest to learn about the Louisiana pine snake. Wildlife biologist Steve Shively explains that the Louisiana pine snake shares the same longleaf pine habitat as the red cockaded woodpecker, a bird which is on the endangered species list. NRCS state resource conservationist John Pete says oftentimes landowners cringe when they hear that an animal which could live on their land is placed on the endangered species list. Agricultural producers face a lot of, uh, of things that they cannot control, the weather being one of them. But government overregulation and sometimes good intentions to conserve a species often leads the other way where people don't want it on their property to do everything they can we didn't want to see that happen and, and so this really is a win for the private landowner a win for the species a win for all the species that share this type of habitat that win-win is the working lands for wildlife pine snake project through the nrcs it's a project where a private landowner like david daigle can continue to graze cattle on his land or plant timber without having to worry about listed species like the louisiana pine snake under the endangered species act they could face criminal and penalties, fines, all kind of things for harming a listed species. But if they conduct a plan, a conservation plan within RCS and follow that plan for up to 30 years, because we consulted up front, they, uh, they do not have to worry about that liability of, of incidental take or harming a species. They, they, that's, that's a non-issue for them. And, and so that's, that removes that worry and allows them to manage their property. When we work within RCS, for their conservation practices as we uh, implement the conservation practices that we, we sign up for. We find ourselves doing more and more of that kind of work and that kind of thinking. And that's really a beautiful system because uh, uh, it allows us the opportunity to, um, uh, to, to receive technical and financial assistance at times to conduct those, those conservation practices that are good for the overall ecosystem in general. Troy Malik is the NRCS state wildlife biologist. He says that aside from being good for the red cockaded woodpecker and the Louisiana pine snake, the longleaf pine habitat is good for wild turkey, bobwhite quail, and white-tailed deer. It's also good for the pocket gopher which can cause problems. If you want to establish longleaf pine, a lot of times the pocket gophers um, will eat the seedlings. Um, and so you, you have less success um, if you have high numbers of pocket gophers. And that's what the Louisiana pine snake eats, pocket gophers. As NRCS soil conservationist aide Sarah Dixon learned, this non-venomous snake is a key part of this ecosystem even if it's a bit intimidating. I usually don't do daring things like that. Um, I've always been scared of snakes, so but um, knowing that it couldn't really hurt me was like very cool. There are only a handful of Louisiana parishes where you can still find the Louisiana pine snake. Rapides Parish, where I shot that story, is not one of them anymore. To see a map of where you can find the Louisiana pine snake or to learn more about this really cool reptile, you can visit our website at twilighttv.org. And if you notice, kind of like snakes. I've never I had one for a say. pet. Never. When I saw that on Facebook, the picture of <laughs> I said, it's all becoming clear because when I killed a snake in my backyard, mm -hmm. you said, why did you kill it? It was a good snake. I said, no snake is a good snake when it's no. in your backyard. The Louisiana pine snake is a very good snake. It goes around, and like I said in the story, its main prey is the pocket gopher. 
Problem is there aren't as many pocket gophers as there used to be, and it's a really cool constrictor. But yeah, I had fun holding that, that pine snake. I thought it was really sweet. So do your kids like snakes as much as you? Luke is absolutely obsessed. My five-year-old, obsessed with snakes. He was supposed to come with me to shoot that mm -hmm. story. But then when my wife Lauren asked me, are there gonna be any venomous snakes out there? I was like, well, you know, there could be timber rattlers, there could be pygmy rattlesnakes. Luke, his exact words were, Daddy, in that case, take me when I'm older, when I'm a herpetologist. He used the word herpetologist in a sentence and says that's what he wants to be when he grows up. I'm sure you're proud. I am so proud. You have no idea. That and a garbage man. Those are the two occupations he wants. <laughs> <laughs> He's diverse. He's got his bases covered. It sounds like these jobs will always be around. So Job security. Yeah. Kudos to Luke.